Hey guys, welcome to another video, and today we're going to talk about Brie Larson being in Star Wars. I mean, this is kind of like a two-parter, per se, in one. So let's talk about Brie Larson being, like, wanting to be in Star Wars, or there being a possibility of Brie Larson being in Star Wars. So this, there's a big possibility. I don't want her to be in Star Wars because I don't really care for her as a person. I mean, she comes off as arrogant and cocky and as a know-it-all. And yes, she may be a pretty decent actress. And for most of the time, I can separate the actor like, in terms of their roles into the actual person. Like, I'm still kind of mad at Tom Cruise for not letting Kate Holmes to be Rachel again in The Dark Knight. And Ivory is kind of controlling and he can be a jerk. But regardless if that's true or not, the last part at least, he is a good actor. I have no problem saying that. Even if I'm not a big fan of him or not. Same with uh, Justin Bieber. Now, I don't like Justin Bieber as a person. But, I do think he's a pretty decent actor. I mean, decent singer. He's, he has a nice voice. And especially some of his later songs are pretty good. I... In my opinion, not saying his old songs are bad, but hope you get guys get what I'm getting at with the whole Justin Bieber analogy. But and I have no doubt that Brie Larson could do her action chops pretty decent in Star Wars, but seeing how she how she's been acting ever since like Captain Marvel. I don't want her to come into Star Wars. I mean, I've seen Captain Marvel. And to be honest, for those of you who hasn't seen Avengers Endgame, this is like minor spoilers for Avengers Endgame. It's not going to affect your experience in terms of like watching the story mode all too much. But... Captain Marvel's only in the movie for like 15 ish minutes in total. So, and Captain Marvel doesn't really, really do much in Avengers Endgame. So, it's watching Captain Marvel, regardless how good of an actor she, Brie Larson, is playing that role, was. They didn't really serve anything in terms of. Enhancing my Avengers Endgame uh, experience. But. She was pretty. I'll admit, she's a pretty. I was seeing her in like what, two movies. Both of them are Marvel movies. Uh, one being in Avengers Endgame and the other being in Captain Marvel. And I gotta say, basing off that. I do genuinely believe she's a good actress. I, I, I'm i not going to take that away from her. But as a person, I don't like her. And like I said, she comes off as arrogant, cocky. And she's and she, childish, to be honest. And I don't want... And... Star Wars is already having a bad time as it is with uh, Ryan Johnson can't take criticisms to The Last Jedi. Kathleen Kennedy cannot take criticism to any of her Star Wars products that pretty much she releases. Uh, Bob I not Bob Iger, uh, sorry. Uh, the person who made Solo Star Wars Story t saying that it was trolls w uh, being the reason why Solo Star Wars story failed, which is not true. Which I could, if you guys want me to, make a video on why 
Solo All Star was already filled. But Brie Larson being in Star Wars, if she was a better person, I'm just gonna say that if if she acted more mature and better as a human being, then maybe I would say, you know what, Brie? I wouldn't mind you being Star Wars. I mean, I'd be open minded, but I mean, I'm being close minded. And Brie Larson, she. Like I said, it's a good actress, but. In terms of being Star. But I don't like her as a person, and I don't want her to come into Star Wars. Now, there is another thing. To what I'm going to say in this video. Which is why I'm kind of wearing my uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars shirt. That has Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Yoda from The Clone Wars. And yes, it has Mickey Mouse as a Jedi. And I got this like... Six... No. Seven years ago. At Disney. At this convention called Star Wars Weekend. One was still a thing. And I got this shirt. Mostly because I love Star Wars. I love cool. So I figured what the hell I'll go get it. Thankfully my mom ended up buying it for me. So love you mom. <laughs> but no. Uh, there are some rumors. Circling that. Brie Larson. Assuming she does go into Star Wars. Which I pray to God she won't. So that she will be in. She will play as Ahsoka. And I'm practically saying please no to uh, her being in Star Wars. I'm saying uh, uh, please God no with her being Ahsoka. Because like I said, she might be a good actress. Which I do generally find her as a good actress. But in terms of... Like I said, being in Star Wars, please don't go into Star Wars universe pre. And Ahsoka Tano is my favorite Jedi of the Clone Wars. Yes, towards the end, the she what had happened to her was bogus. And yes, towards her the story arc of like season five of the Clone Wars. She got expelled for something that she didn't do. Like, because she was set up for something she didn't do. Which is the part I'm referring to as bogus. And then, the Jedi said, Oh, you can come back into the Jedi Order. And Zuko practically said, Nope. Bye, Felicia. And then, we're going to see here in Season 7. <laughs> but, no... I mean, I'm up for seeing a live action Ahsoka. I mean, there's is even this trailer for this fan film, Ahsoka Tano, on YouTube. And I'm personally excited for that. And I do believe Ahsoka Tano does deserve to be on the big screen. And again, because she was on the big screen in the Clone Wars, but in live action. But I feel. Ahsoka Tano, because she's my favorite Jedi of the Clone Wars. And you know, by the end, she isn't a Jedi anymore. But my point still stands. Ahsoka is my favorite Jedi of the Clone Wars. And I feel like whoever plays this character, Ahsoka deserves enough respect in terms of having an actor. Who has so much respect for Star Wars. Not to put their SJW nonsense in there. And not to have any actors or... And I mean like in terms of actors or directors or whatever. And... Yeah, Ahsoka Tano was at first one of the most hated Star Wars characters ever. I, I liked her off the bed. I had a strange... Like out of this... Feeling I couldn't explain at first that that character, because I already knew she was going to have the uh, Clone Wars was going to be into the turn into a series. I in my 
it's like somebody told me, you know, that Ahsoka character, she's going to be big, just watch, and, hey, she turned out to be one of the most hated Star Wars characters, to the, one of the most beloved Star Wars characters, she, even after uh, she exited the Clone Wars, and one of the Clone Wars was cancelled, she was in the Rebels, which... I loved her in Rebels as well as the Clone Wars. And the best thing we got to see in the Clone Wars is her growing as a character. Character development. And in Rebels, how she grown since the last time we seen her in the Clone Wars was at that time was when she left the Jedi Order. It was before season seven was announced, and yeah, we could see a bit more of her growing, but we could see her into the beautiful character, great Jedi she was in Rebels, and now we could see her again in the Clone Wars, because the Clone Wars is gonna have is brought back to be having one last season, which I'm excited for. <laughs> Long story short, I feel like Ahsoka Tano deserves enough respect to whoever's, at least whoever's playing Ahsoka Tano, to have enough respect for the character. And I don't feel like Brie Larson has that respect that is required for Ahsoka Tano. And this is me solely pretty much basing how Brie Larson has been acting with her uh, with Captain Marvel. And I've made a video on my good friend Spartan 27's account where it said Brie, uh, Captain Marvel will fail. I at the time didn't take into account that Okay, it's gonna it's sandwiched in between Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. So, if I thought of that at the time, I would have made wouldn't have made that video because I didn't think of okay, it's, it's gonna make a lot of money. How much? Probably not as much as they wanted to, but still a lot of money. But that I don't want. So, uh, Soka to be played by Brie Larson. And I actually don't want Brie Larson to be in Star Wars. I mean, I can potentially see, like, a Peyton List, who she was a Disney Channel star, or, uh, who's a good actress who could play Ahsoka? Depending on the timeline, though, because it has to depend on the timeline. Will it be, like, Ahsoka shortly after we see her leave the temple of season 5, but before season 7? Or will it be her adventures in between, like, season 7 of the Clone Wars and season 2 of uh, Rebels? Or could it be after the events of Rebels? Because we do see her in this white cloak with the staff, signaling lean to Sabine that, okay, let's start our new journey to find Ezra. I don't know. But... Longs, I don't want Brie Larson to be in Star Wars, especially to play Ahsoka. Because I feel like she doesn't have enough uh, respect for Star Wars or uh, to Ahsoka to be in Star Wars or to play as Ahsoka. So that's my take. What do you guys think? And right, keep in mind that this is all rumors at the moment. It was hinted that Brie Larson could be in Star Wars, but right now it's all room. It's right now it's rumors. I'm passing it as rumors, as both she being in Star Wars and her passing this as rumors that she's going to be in Ahsoka Tano. But let's let's 